Hey guys, what is going on? Thank you for joining me today. My name is Trevor and you are watching Madtown Games. I've been gone for a while, been really busy with stuff, but now I'm back for a product comparison. Yes, that's right. I, myself, am a, or was a Xbox 360 gamer. So I was very familiar with this little guy. This was my controller of choice for about uh, four years when I got my 360. Um, this is the original controller I got with my 360. And I will be putting it up against t er, today against the brand new Sony DualShock 4. Just uh, kind of a video to help you guys that may have been, you know, Xbox gamers and are thinking about making the switch to PlayStation and you're worried about not being able to uh, have a good controller experience because you're so used to the Xbox controller. But uh, I'm going to tell you right now, guys, there's, <laughs> there's nothing to worry about because it is, the DualShock 4 is a great controller, but I will go into it a little more. So, on your Xbox controller, you guys know the Xbox controller. You got your right and left bumpers, right and left triggers, dual analog sticks, one down, one up, um, the D-pad, your face button, start select, your Xbox button, uh, battery pack, um, plug and play kit, or charge and play, whatever the fuck you want to call it, um, sync button, controller, uh, headphone port, and uh, as you guys know, I love this controller. I really do. This is a great controller. This was my favorite controller for the longest time. I never played anything like it. Uh, it's great for competitive gaming. Uh, I really, really enjoy it. But when I picked up my PlayStation 4, I might have been like some of you guys. I didn't know. You know, uh, I've never been really a fan of Sony's controllers. I hated the DualShock 3. I couldn't stand playing on that thing. But this, you guys... This controller is fantastic. <laughs> Let's go over. Um, so you got your dual analog sticks, um, which now have an indentation on them, which is great because the DualShock 3 controller had the stupid little dome things. My fingers would always slide off of them, but this controller, not even a problem at all. You got your little indent, and it keeps your fingers in there nice and snug. You got your speaker, which <laughs> I haven't really paid attention to anything coming out of the speaker as of yet but I don't know it could be cool your PlayStation button you got your d-pad which is a fantastic d-pad by the way uh, I like this d-pad so much more than the 360 controller you've got your share button which I haven't used much but I mean you guys know what it does I'm sure you know it allows you to upload videos that you have captured through Facebook Twitter or not Twitter Maybe to Facebook, yeah. <laughs> but uh, you can also live stream to Twitch or Ustream. You got your options button, which for a lot of games is taking over the place of the start button. Um, it also lets you bring up an options menu for different things in different menus. You got your touchpad, which um, I haven't used much. I think in Killzone, I used it a couple times to select different weapons. Uh, the free game on PS4 called Warframe uses it for special attacks. You got your X-square, triangle, and circle buttons, which feel really, really nice. They're really flush against the controller, which is a great thing. Uh, your R1 and L1 buttons, which are a lot smaller than they used to be, and they're a lot closer to the triangle button and the D-pad. But <laughs> the cream de resistance in this controller is the motherfucking triggers. These things are gorgeous. <laughs> As you guys know, if you played PS3, the, con or the triggers on the back of the DualShock 3 were anything but stellar. They sloped downward and your fingers would slide off of them all the time. But this one, you can see, they actually slide outward, so they're actually triggers this time. Good job, Sony, you did it. Yay! But these triggers, guys, these triggers are fantastic. They feel really really good to play with um, they're they got almost no resistance to them they're really really easy to push down uh, they feel like real triggers <laughs> um, but yeah it charges through micro USB which is really nice no batteries um, but yeah so overall a comparison between the two I loved the Xbox controller I still do I still love playing with it I still play uh, GTA Online on my Xbox, 
and uh, the DualShock 4, which is probably my new favorite controller. I haven't got a chance to get my hands on the Xbox One controller, but I will next week, or this week, I guess, Friday when it launches. Um, but as of now, the DualShock 4 is my favorite controller, and if you are so used to playing on this, you love this, this is your baby, you will have no issues switching over to the DualShock 4 because it's just a great gaming controller. Very comfortable for Xbox gamers. I don't even notice the fact that uh, the left analog stick isn't up here. It uh, feels really good. I'm loving it for first person shooters, which is really all I have at the moment. But uh, <laughs> it's just a great controller. The analog sticks, uh, they feel a little bit more tight than the Xbox. Although this could just be because it's worn down. I've been using it for, you know, like I said, four years. But these, they have a little bit more uh, resistance to them, but they, they work really, really well. So overall, guys, uh, like I said, DualShock 4 has to be my new favorite controller. I love playing with the thing. If you're an Xbox gamer and you're not quite sure if you want to switch over to PS4, um, strictly based off controller reasons, I wouldn't worry about it. It's a great controller. Hell, I mean, you don't even have to switch over if you just want to pick up a PS4 and you're also getting an Xbox One. PS4 controller will make a great addition. You won't have to worry about it. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope it gave you a little bit more idea of what you might want to do. Uh, leave a like rating if you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to add me on PS4, my screen name on PSN is Madtown Games, just like it is on YouTube. I play Call of Duty Ghosts, Battlefield 4, Killzone Shadowfall, and Warframe. Those are the games I'm playing online right now. So if you want to hit, hit me up on there, uh, send me a friend request, and I'd love to play a game with you guys. All right, thanks for watching. See you later. I'm out.